are you recording me? You need to be heard. I think that's what we're going to start a YouTube channel. Because, you know, I'm not the only one Russian. You know, as mothers, we always feel that we always have to rush. That mother, that mother, uh, talk. That's a lame excuse. Why is it a lame excuse? Like, I, I have no idea why you think that it's a lame excuse because. Listen, because when when you decided to become one, you uh, you need to understand that they come with certain obligations. That's an excuse. No, not because that you have kids means that you, 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 you know you were ready and you know and you know that it's come with this obligation. You know what? It's you know what you experience or, or you learn about the obligation. You know when you have you know those. What, what, what I'm talking about? You know that this girl what, what we, uh, would need like to be breastfed like you know like so often. And you know, which is like you know, I was supposed to be that, that most people did, uh, you get them ready for. So, you're telling me that because you made an uninformed decision, and, and, you, busy. and you're having buyer's remorse, that you still don't understand that the obligation is on you? This is an excuse. Listen, single mother, single father is trash talk, it's just somebody looking for a reason to explain why they can't get their stuff together. Boy, I don't think so. It's, you know, and, you know, with now everything is like so, so hard. Like the cost of even and everything. You know, people are so busy and all that. You know what? Your people have more things to do. They get less help from family members and friends. You know, so it's not like in the past, you know, when you have a kid, you have, you know, you know, your, you know, uh, the grandma didn't care of the kid. Or you have like, a, you live like, like in a village where like a bunch of people helping you. You know, now it's harder. You know, I just want to make people are so stressed right now. You know, uh, you know, I don't remember like, oh, single mother, this is why. No, I mean, things are harder. Never changed from the time that the first person was born until now. It's not that it's got harder. People don't appreciate the time that they're supposed to be doing those things. At least until they're him always talking. in a hurry. They're always in a rush. You know what? They always feel they gotta do this, that, and the next thing. What about the priority on being uh, the priority on being on parenting? Parenting is a is a is a tremendous obligation and a tremendous responsibility. All right, it's one that you signed up for when you decide to be one. With that being said, whether it's accidental or on purpose, enjoy the moment because you ain't gonna be taking care of a little one forever. And guess what? The amount of time that you invest in doing that parenting not looking for help listen you didn't ask the people you didn't ask grandma to help you didn't ask grandma for help you didn't ask uh, auntie for help uncle for help when you decide to uh, become a parent because maybe they would have encouraged you and everybody else that maybe now is not the time yeah, because I'm busy mm. because I'm busy Oh, we don't got auntie, we don't got grandma to help. You know, the village. Did you ask the village? Hey, tonight, it's about to be on. Tonight, I'm finna be a parent. In nine months, I'm gonna need your help. I am so desperate for help. And I know I can't do it all myself. But tonight, I'm about to be a parent. And they're gonna say, hold on. So you telling me you signing me up for something that you didn't even ask me if I wanted to be signed up for? Because if you ask me, I can't help. I'm horrible at helping. Because if I wanted to help, you know what I would do? I'm about to, have, I'm about to be a parent too. But wait, hold on. But you 80 years old, Grandma. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But, hold on. but I'm going to need your help. I, I I'm going to need your help. 
Hey, guys, this is my husband. He just loved to talk, so I'm gonna just record him talk. <laughs> you know, I'll come in between, but he just loved to talk. I'm not just talking. You know, people people who look for help, did they ask the, the people that they hoping will help for their time? Did they ask? Yeah, but you know because, what? Be, because when we decided to be parents, I don't remember calling your dad and saying, hey, listen, uh, what you gonna be doing in nine months? You know what? What you gonna be doing in nine months? You know what? Because you about to, I'm gonna need you, I'm gonna need your help. You know what? We came well, from, what do you mean? We came from two different cultures, okay? I'm Haitian and you're African American. What did you ask? Listen, listen. In my culture, you know, where, you know, my mom were born or, or you know, when they have kids, they have, you know, they have help. Like, in, my mom used to live in a village, you know, where she has my mom, aunt, and cousins you know when we were born she had help okay she had four kids she had help okay you know whereas Richie which she was born here you know when he was I you know after you know when he was born so you know what he had help with his you know his mom has help with had help because because they used to live like in the same like community but with us like we have uh, you know our kids with us you know we live like far away from family members so which means that you know what everything we have to do we are the aunt we are the cousin we are the auntie we are we are like everything like no, the, 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 the the neighbors no, I'm daddy. Uh, you know well yeah you, you yeah you did the daddy I'm so we do everything so which means that you know i'm always doing things by myself always start you know what this is why I'm always nervous, you know. It's a different time. It's a different time, you know, you know, where people don't live together anymore. You know, we don't live in the village anymore, like close to each other, you know, where we get help. The help we get is, you know, drop our kids to a, a daycare, you know, and pick them up late at night, and the next day we do the same thing over again. That's the help that, that in this century, that's, this is the help that we have. And listen, you think if anybody, you or anybody else listening feel like they got a rush because they don't have help they need to get with the program because times have changed grandma ain't got time auntie ain't got time and if you didn't ask them for their time before you decide to put yourself in this position where you obligated to do these things that you may not want to do you should probably reconsider being a parent because this is what it's about this is what it's about <sighs> don't rush me keep your rush to yourself nobody's rushing i mean i mean it's like you, you you're forced to rush unless this is why you know i don't blame nobody else that you know i don't want to be a parent because these days you know being a parent is you know it's very hard work you know it's a full-time overtime and then don't you know? cry about it then don't cry about it when crying? you're 45 50 years old and you ain't got no kids because you decided when you was in your 20s and 30s and some of them teens that you didn't want to be a parent and now you're 50 years old and you all you know you, you, you have 50 60 70 year old people are they can't have kids really right that's not true Jackson Jackson is, 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 is almost 60 and he has, and yeah, she but has there's kids there's something called outliers there's there's people who are outside of the norm okay I don't know if she did it because of money or she did it because she was able to, but I'm not saying that this is everybody who's over 50 can't have kids. They're outliers, some people can. But the point is, the majority of people don't make a decision when you're young that you don't want kids and then cry about it, complain about it. That's no, what I mean by saying cry. No, I think that the, 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 the thing to do is that before having kids, you can't to be prepared. It's not easy. It's not easy like having a career or you know have money. You know, think about there will be no help or you probably will have to do anything by yourself. Okay, okay, we done with this talk. Don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you next time on the next one. Bye.